Hi there, I'm Vincent Boss and I provide dating and self-improvement advice. And in today's podcast, we're going to be discussing when you contact your dumper, this happens. I provide audio coaching to help people try and get their ex back or get a new girlfriend or boyfriend. Check out my website for more details www.dateme.tips Please check your spam and junk folders if you are expecting an email from me. So now let's get back into today's podcast. And today we are discussing when you contact your dumper, this happens. So if you have been dumped and want to try to get your ex back, you will likely wonder whether or not you should contact your ex. In today's podcast, I'll be discussing three likely outcomes if you decide to contact your dumper. So let's get straight into this. And point number one is they don't know how to respond. So you as a dumpy are in a position where the relationship was ended and you did not want that to happen. But you have to respect the fact but your now ex, the dumper, did make this decision. So you as a dumpy are unhappy and your ex, the dumper, they might not necessarily be over the moon and be ecstatic about their life right now, but they have made a decision that they wanted to take place. So in that regard, they are happy. They are happy that they have made a choice which they hope is going to lead them to a brighter future. Now, as a dumpy, this might be very hard for you to listen to, but you just need to think about it logically. When two people are in a loving relationship, they are both feeling a high level of romantic emotional attraction for one another. And at that moment, at that height of that attraction, both people believe that this relationship is going to last forever. Now, for various potential reasons, unfortunately, your now ex the dumper lost romantic emotional attraction for you. Now, when this hit the necessary low point, they actioned the breakup. They became the dumper, you became the dumpy. They are happy with this choice because they have made it due to the fact that they were not feeling fulfilled. They did not believe that the relationship that they were in at the time of the breakup was going to give them the fulfillment, the satisfaction, the happiness that they crave. So they've decided to make a different choice, go on a different direction. So if you, as a dumpy, reach out to your ex the dumper, one of the likely possibilities of how they will feel is that they won't know how to respond. They're going to feel awkward. They're going to feel confused because they won't understand why you don't respect their decision. Your decision is that you want to stay in this relationship. Their decision is that they don't want to stay in this relationship and they have ended that connection. So if you reach out to them, they'll be thinking, I don't know what to say. You know, what more is there to be said? You might think, well, I want closure. I don't understand why this relationship ended. I want more from my dumper to understand how they could have ended this wonderful connection. But your ex the dumper in their mind will think that things are clear. Now, this doesn't mean that they were. It doesn't mean that it was fair, but in their mind, they're going to think it was clear because to them, it was clear. To them, it wasn't working. To them, it seemed obvious that this relationship was not going in the correct direction. So if you reach out to your dumper, now whether this is by text, which is the most likely outcome, or possibly you meet them face to face, or you give them a call, whatever it may be, your ex the dumper is quite possibly going to be feeling very, very confused and awkward about what to say. They're not going to be feeling in a great position because they're thinking, look, you know, why don't you get the situation? I've ended this relationship. Surely you realise I don't want to talk right now. And now you're trying to contact me. I don't necessarily want to hurt you. In fact, most dumpers do not want to hurt their dumpees. So they don't want to cause any more pain, any more drama. But they don't know what to do. They don't know what to say. What more can I say? The relationship is over. Now You might think as a dumpee, you've had no explanation. This came out of a blue. This wasn't fair. But your ex the dumper sees things differently. They would have assumed that you could see the problems, but you can understand why they might want to end this. Now, this doesn't mean that they are right. It doesn't mean that you are right. But the truth of the matter is that you both currently see things very differently. 
So if you contact your dumper, your ex is going to be is going to be very surprised, but you don't understand the scenario. What can they say? What more can they do? You might think lots of things. They probably don't understand this. So they could feel awkward. They could feel confused. And this is why sometimes if you as a dumpy reach out to your dumper, you might get no response at all because they just don't know what to say. You might get a response which seems confusing. Maybe you'll get like a smiley face back or an emoji, which makes you think, why are they sending me this? They've just broke my heart. This is because they don't know what to do. They don't know what to say. They don't want to hurt you further, but they want you to realize their relationship is no longer intact. What more can they do? You think lots. They don't think they need to do any more. This creates confusion. This Point number one is one of the most likely possible outcomes of what would happen if you contact your dumper. So now let's get into point number two and the second point of today's podcast about when you contact your dumper, this happens. And point number two, possible outcome number two, is they lose more attraction for you. So as I said earlier, when a relationship was strong, both people are feeling a high level of romantic emotional attraction for one another. But, like I said, unfortunately, this attraction level dropped for your now ex. So it's already low. But unfortunately, if you as a dumpy reaches out to your ex the dumper, one of the possible outcomes is that they lose more attraction. This gauge of romantic emotional attraction drops further. And this is due to them feeling very frustrated and possibly angry. So in point number one, we were saying about the awkwardness, the confusion. They don't want to hurt you anymore, but what more can they do? Point number two is further along from this. They're angry. They're frustrated. You don't get it. Why won't you leave me alone? Stop hassling me. I said I don't want to hear from you. Those types of situations is what a dumper may have said. You may want to contact them and try and change their mind. And this is where the anger, the frustration, and unfortunately, further loss of attraction can take place. If you as a dumpy want to try to get your ex back, you need to grow romantic emotional attraction, not create a scenario where it drops further. This pushes your ex the dumper further away. It doesn't bring them closer. And if you want support on trying to increase the chance of getting your ex back, then you may want to consider my audio coaching service, where me and you can speak one-on-one about your unique situation. Go to my website, www.dateme.tips, for more details about how I can become your coach and your teammate on this journey to try and reconnect with your ex. And if you don't succeed and nothing can be guaranteed in life, I would strive to increase the chance of you finding somebody even better. I like to say it is win-win. If you don't get your ex back, if you do enough of the right things, you can make yourself a more attractive proposition to find somebody even better. So don't feel that you've just wasted your only opportunity of happiness. You can and will find happiness again. Is it going to be with your ex? Well, nothing can be guaranteed. But behave in the right way, live your life the right way, do enough of the right things, and you can find somebody even better. So if you want me as your coach, www.dateme.tips. So now let's get into point number three and the final point of today's podcast about when you contact your dumper, this happens. And point number three is they position you as a backup. Now, this is one of the unfortunate situations that can happen when a dumpy reaches out to their dumper and they feel that things are going well. This is a situation where a dumpy might hear all the advice in the world saying, look, you know, your best chance of success is to never contact your ex again unless they contact you first. And instead, they don't listen to this. They reach out to their dumper and they get a response. And they think, hey, this is working for me. This is what I should do. Now, look, nothing works 100% of the time and nothing fails 100% of the time. But one of the likely outcomes if you reach out to your ex for dumper is that they will position you as a backup. Sometimes dumpers can be quite arrogant and almost happy that they've heard from you because it doesn't mean that they want to get you back in a relationship. But what it does mean is there is now an opportunity for you to be their backup option, for you to be plan B. And you don't want to be that. You want to be somebody's plan A. You want to be somebody's first choice, not their second choice. So if you reach out to your ex for dumper 
And if you unfortunately get yourself in a position where you think everything is going really well, but then you realize you've hit a brick wall and it won't go any further than a certain point, this is because your ex, the dumper, is likely keeping you as a plate. I call it a plate because it is a situation where somebody can spin plates, if you've heard of that term before. But spinning plates, you would unfortunately become a plate. You would become somebody who they are keeping on the back burner. You become a backup option. You become a person that they will contact if they want that love and affection, if they want various potential things because they're not finding it with somebody else. You don't want to be that. You want them to want you. You do not want to be shown as somebody who is desperate and needy. Now, luckily, most dumpers don't behave in this disrespectful way. From my research, it seems less likely, less than 50% of the time, that a dumper will be happy to just keep their dumpy on side as a backup option. But unfortunately, you will sometimes come across this. So if you're a dumpy, you reach out to your ex and you get some level of contact, but it just doesn't proceed. Maybe they won't meet you initially, or if they do meet you, it's something where they're hot, they're cold, they're hot, they're cold. You don't understand what's going on, but they will never reach out to you first, it seems. You have to be the one chasing. This is when they've got you where they want you. You know, they're thinking, they're realizing that you still want them, you still need them, you're behaving in a desperate way. That is not attractive. Lots of dumpers, as I said earlier, will respond to this in an awkward, confused, angry or frustrated way. But some dumpers, some dumpers will think, well, you know, I'm kind of relieved almost that they're happy to take this position. Because I'm just going to go out there dating lots of different people. And if I'm ever bored, I might just throw them a bone here and there. Now, some people refer this as breadcrumbs. Now, in my other podcast, I have described how I believe that people can grow breadcrumbs. You know, I believe you can grow the largest tree from the smallest acorn. And that is absolutely true. You can grow breadcrumbs. But that is if a breadcrumb is initially instigated by the dumper. If you never contact your ex again unless they contact you first and they send you a message saying hi, that could be deemed as a breadcrumb, but they have reached out to you. That's the difference. If you're a dumpy and you're reaching out to your ex all the time, all the time, all the time, and they're getting back to you with very minimal messages, just almost keeping you on side, keeping you as a plate, that is where they are throwing a breadcrumb back to you, and that is totally different. So if you're doing the reaching out and you get an occasional breadcrumb back, that's not ideal. Can you grow it still? It's not impossible, but it's not the position that you want to be in. You may even find that if you reach out to them nine, ten times, you might even get a small breadcrumb initiated by them. Again, it's not the same. You know, you need to be thinking about it logically. Have you gone into a proper no contact? Are you using my version of a no contact rule? If you don't understand what that is, subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out the playlist entitled The No Contact Rule to fully immerse yourself in my version of a rule. If you don't use my version of a rule, I can't really help you in that regard because I don't know exactly what you're doing. But if you are using my version of a rule, if you've never contacted your ex again, unless they've contacted you first, if they've reached out to you with a small message, then that is something you can grow. But if you're hammering them with messages, if you're knocking on their door, if you're calling them all the time, and then every now and again, you just get a little something, I would be more suspicious. Can you grow it? It's possible, but it's not likely. If you become a backup option, you will have your heart constantly broken because they will disappear when they find a better option and they will come back to you when they are bored. And not only that, you'll be less likely to move forward and gain new experiences, meeting new people, finding new connections and even getting a much better partner in the process. So if you become the backup, if you become the plate, if you become the person that they are arrogant about, not only will they treat you with disrespect, but you won't be going out into the world finding somebody even better. You only have one life. You need to live it to the full. Don't put your life on hold for your ex. If you believe that this podcast has helped you, then please consider buying me a coffee. The link to do so is in the description.